What if I was to tell you the Nintendo Switch 2 may be unveiled as soon as sometime in November? Yeah, sounds a little crazy, doesn't it? After all, I certainly don't have that expectation for Nintendo Switch 2 to be unveiled this year. I gave up on that months ago. So to me, it obviously makes more sense for this system to be unveiled, I don't know, January or March. But then also, if it was to be teased and unveiled this year, maybe at the Game Awards. And that even seems like a pretty big stretch, considering Nintendo has never really done anything like that. Of course, then again... Hey, Nintendo's also never released back-to-back -back mega successful systems. So, you know what? First time for everything. But, what if I were to tell you that there is a compelling argument that it will be happening this November based on some real-world evidence of stuff Nintendo is currently doing that most people aren't paying attention to? Yes, folks. We got to dive into that in a moment, but first I want to remind you that we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers, so I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and drop a like, and you know what? Hey, why not hit that bell icon to be notified of all future uploads? So I want to give all credit to this over to Para Spikey over on Fami Boards. Now, Para Spikey is somebody who over the years has been tracking a lot of Amiibo and Amiibo release dates and Amiibo restocks, and... Throughout all of his tracking, almost every, well not really almost, literally every single time there's a bunch of Amiibo restocks, there is some sort of Nintendo event, some sort of Nintendo announcement, some sort of Smash thing happening when it happens. It's got a 100% tracker. The event, the last time that there was some restocks going on, it was a precursor to the announcement of the Sora Amiibo at the last Nintendo Direct. So even that last little restock they did was relevant to a announcement. And it turns out Nintendo has some interesting stuff going on, especially when we consider they're starting their holidays early. What am I talking about? You know that Mario Kart 8 bundle? How about those new bundles they're doing with Nintendo Switch Lights? When do those bundles launch? October 6th. Now that's weird, because after all, those bundles in the past have always launched in November. They've been the big November push. Why are they launching October 6th? I mean, even, you know, you get the Mario OLED. Okay, yeah, we have Mario Wonder coming up, but why are these holiday bundles starting soon? And Nintendo's even saying our holidays are starting soon on October 6th. Why are they doing them that early? Well... I want to note before I get into this post that this is just speculation. All right, Para Spikey's not promising anything. He doesn't have any inside information. He just ha he just puts together a collection of data that has always led to something. And so he's not an insider. He's not a leaker, but he makes a good argument. So here's his post. He says, hello, I wasn't sure where to put this. So it relates to a possible hardware reveal. Like last time, since this is going to be a bit of a long post, I'll provide a too long didn't read at the end. All right. On August 29th, I posted a big amiibo post in the old direct speculation thread pointing to us getting a Metroid, Zelda, Mario, and Smash content in the September direct due to dated amiibo restocks. In this post, of course, we didn't get anything like that in the direct beyond the obvious Mario stuff and the Sora amiibo. Today... I looked back at the dated Amiibo, and I actually got some stuff wrong that made me have an incomplete guess. I wanted to make a correction post and present my research. Now, this is the Amiibo source for restock dates, and you can see it's GameExplorers.gr. We'll give you guys a look at that here in a second. And then it says this, um, in this blog post, I list the following. Amiibo restocks have historically 99% been related to upcoming Nintendo software announcements or releases. These restocks cannot relate to Nintendo Live, and they weren't announced the day they went live, meaning they relate to future announcements and releases. Here are the upcoming restocks and what they could relate to. August 28th, 2023, Smash Series Restock Wave 1, new content reveal, one month before reveal, question, 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 November 10th, 
2023, Smash Series Restock Wave 2, new content release, same month as release, maybe. August 28th, Super Mario Bros. Rosalina and Boo Restock, which led to the Mario Wonder Direct. Fall 2023, Wedding, Mario, Peach, and Bowser Restock, Mario Wonder, could be same month. Wolf Link, Archer Link, and Link's Awakening Link, Tears of the Kingdom DLC, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, could be the same month, we don't really know. Uh, fall 2023, Metroid Line, Samus, Metroid Prime 4 reveal, could be the same month, one month after, can't be Prime 2 or 3 since they don't have Amiibo functionality. So again, these are just some stuff that we don't know, but here's the thing, when he put out this data, a lot of it was incorrect, and it was his fault for not making the corrections, which would have updated the guess. So here's what he had incorrect. The Super Mario Bros, Rosalina, and Boot Restocks were not on the 28th. They're actually November 10th meaning we've yet to see what they're actually connected to. This also means the only thing that was dated was the Smash restocks, which connected to us getting the Sora Amiibo. The Metroid, Zelda, and Odyssey restock were always dated specifically to November 10th. When I made this list, I had no clue when these restocks were, so I just listed Fall 2023. The first Smash Wave did not relate to new content, but rather to the announcement of the Sora Amiibo, which is the first time they've ever announced a brand new Amiibo that isn't alongside brand new content. Since I had no idea that Fall 2023 restocks were happening on November 10th, I incorrectly assumed that they were going to be for the Fall Direct. This clearly did not happen. I also mistook the Super Mario Bros, Rosalina, and Boo restocks being on the same day as the first Smash Wave. That was not the case. Despite the speculation not panning out in the direct, this is actually good news. The only Amiibo restock that was dated for the 28th did lead to something being in the first Smash Wave. While it wasn't software, it's still connected to Smash, a thing that proves that the Smash team is back together working on something since they need to go back and update the game. So what does this mean? We should see something related to Metroid, Zelda, Mario, and Smash around November 10th. So how does this relate to hardware? There are a few reasons why this relates to new hardware being revealed around this time. For starters, they can't really have any other event in the year where they could possibly show off all of these franchises. We also have Nintendo's fiscal year earning report on November 7th. Quite interesting when that report's coming. In 2016, we got the full NX reveal on October 20th. The earnings release was a week after on October 26th. We also know from the recent Nate the Hate podcast that March 2024 was talked about. And we know from other reports that Nintendo wanted to get their system out as soon as possible. If that date is the release month, what could launch the system? A 3D Mario is an extremely unlikely. The same goes for whatever the next Smash thing is. So what could it be? Well, we have an earlier rumor from Grub that we should have seen Prime 2 Remastered this year, and we have a random Samus restock on November 10th. This heavily suggests to me that we'll get a Prime 4 reveal later this year, and when they do that, they'll shadow drop Prime 2 and or 3. Now again, he's making guesses here. We also know from Andy Robinson, of course, he said that 3D Mario is a launch game. Now, Jeff Grubb also said that we should see hardware revealed by the end of the year late 2023. That is something he did say earlier this year. There are also multiple other reports suggesting an early 2024 launch. The only thing going against that idea is the Eurogamer report, to my knowledge anyways. It provides a source. We also have a 16-day average for Amiibo restocks and the news they connect to. Since the only restock that was actually dated for the 28th was Smash, the 16-day average worked out since we got the Sora Amiibo in the Direct. 16 days before November 10th is October 26th. 16 days after November 10th is November 26th. So that's sort of the date range he's saying that whatever this announcement related to the Amiibo will be happening. With the Sora Amiibo panning out, there are too many restocks happening specifically on the 10th for me to ignore. We could also see something on November 7th, the same day as the fiscal year report, since that's the same week as the mass restocks and is not the same week as any game release. November 7th is a Tuesday, but they also revealed the OLED on a Tuesday. Two other things to account for is that the new Amiibo restocks do not have any console branding on them, and they've yet to announce the first Smash Wave, despite them always announcing restocks when they don't relate to anything. They're also moving up their Mario Kart 8 bundle, and they have two brand new Animal Crossing Switch Lite bundles, all releasing on October 6th, 
almost two months earlier than usual. This means no sales should be cannibalized since Nintendo is, quote unquote, celebrating the holidays early, according to the Rome press. So let's look at his too long didn't read. In my Amiibo research, I made assumptions about the stuff being revealed in the September Direct due to the lack of knowledge of when most of the restocks were. I also had the error of thinking the Super Mario Bros. Rosalina and Boo restocks were on August 28th. They weren't. They're slated for November 10th. Currently, nothing else makes sense to be that late in the year beyond a new hardware reveal. Something like the NX, where they show gameplay on the new system. The only restock that was dated for the 28th was the Smash one, and that did end up panning out, even if it wasn't software related. Based on current patterns, we could see something within the time frame of October 6th to November 26th, with Nintendo earnings release happening on the 7th. The hardware reveal happening on October 30th through November 7th makes the most amount of sense. Now, it gives an updated list of the definitive dates for the Amiibo restocks. So, August 28th, Smash Series 1, that was a Sora Amiibo reveal. All these November 10th ones, you know, new content tees with new hardware, something Mario, uh, 3D Mario tees, potentially with new hardware, something else Zelda, the demo for reveals, blah, 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 who really knows, right? And then November 10th for Metroid, obviously the speculation would there be Metroid Prime 4. My hope is that people do not dismiss the entire theory due to it not panning out in the Nintendo Direct. That assumption was due to me not knowing when the dates of the Amiibo restocks were. Now that I know, it's clear to me that we should see something around the given time frame. The only thing that makes sense again is a new hardware reveal. So, again, this is speculative. This does not mean we are getting new hardware revealed this year. I want to make that very clear. What he did was correct mistakes from his past and then use that corrected data to update the predictions where there's so many different IP Amiibo dropping on the same day that the only thing that really makes sense is another big event. Well, they've already done the Nintendo Direct, so what could the other big event be? Potentially a hardware reveal where you could be teasing multiple different games for the system, which would then line up with the restocks. Of course, Many people have dismissed some of this stuff. They said this could be related, obviously, to a major game sale, like a bunch of games related to these IPs just start going on sale like crazy for the holidays. That is obviously a possibility. I don't, that's never really been what Amiibo have been before, but you know what? We're in uncharted territory if there is any connection at all. And people might go, well, why would these restocks be related to new hardware not launching this year? Because maybe people get so excited about the hardware and them have and, you know and the games they show having amiibo functionality that people might want to stock up on amiibo right now during the holiday season. So that could be one theory on what's happening. Other people, you know, are probably going to point out that there's a lot of other things that this could be. It is just speculative, but it does seem like something's happening. So we're just going to have to hold on to our butt cheeks because hey, look, we're not to even October yet. But uh, it is interesting that they are timing their, their financial report release November 7th. They've done it earlier in the past, but they're doing it pretty late this time. And you do wonder why. Could it be because they're unveiling hardware? And because they're unveiling hardware, they need to answer some questions from investors at that very meeting. And is it possible that the whole reason they're releasing these bundles on October 6th is because they know a month later they're going to be having a bigger buzz around the next system? The number one argument, of course, for all of this, the, the anti-argument is that this could hurt their holiday sales, and that is entirely possibly true. It could indeed hurt those holiday sales unless, and this is something to consider, if they're announcing it in the first week or last week of October, first week of November, if they do announce it then, the fascinating part is it could come with massive price drops on the current Nintendo Switch heading into Black Friday. And with that being the case, and you saw the bundles, and the bundles might not be price dropped because, hey, they have a game bundled in, so a bit more premium of a package, but then you also have price drops thrown in. Next thing you know, Nintendo's holiday is saved, and people are still doubly, triply, quadruply hyped for what's coming. Meanwhile, Nintendo Switch owners also know Hey, if I can't get a system right away next year, it's okay because look at these lineup of games Nintendo already has planned for us. So 
it is quite interesting to at least think about it. And it's maybe the first time that I've seriously contemplated that Nintendo might actually still reveal the system this year. Now, it's all predicated on Amiibo release dates and the fact that this March date keeps th getting thrown out there. And obviously an early Jeff Grubb rumor, which Jeff Grubb, I'm, by the way, hasn't referenced since he said it about the hardware being revealed this year. Again, he said that super early this year. Plans could have changed, or maybe the plans didn't change, and this has been the plan all along. I guess all we could do is just wait, find out, and see if more and more insiders, more murmurs start to pop up about this, which probably won't happen until mid to late October is right around the time. If this did happen, then I would suspect insiders would start hearing about it. Again, Nate the Hate and the rest, like you dropped a new podcast today, doesn't have anything else to reveal at this time. There's just lots of speculation and talk about the Nintendo Direct and all the rumors out there. But uh, right now, nobody really knows when Nintendo's unveiling this thing. It's one of the closest kept secrets, and I can't wait to find out because you know what? I'm saying this before. I'm going to say it again. Guys, it's being revealed sometime in the next six months. Is that a couple months from now? Is it four months from now? Is it the full six months from now? Either way... We're not going to have to wait long. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.